coming up on a hostile outpost here. I'm telling you, the Trade Coalition would love to have that outpost back in rotation. You'd gain some goodwill by murdering those goons. Wellspring. Finally. Let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. Come back soon, Walker. You! You're not getting in here. Go back to your discount rest. Just do everything you can to avoid the Right there, she's seen. We're on lockdown. I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. <laughs> now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Why? Has something happened? Nope. I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... Hear that? You think you can catch a bullet, too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the Dagger Project. Whoa, 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 whoa! Easy! I'm here about the Dagger Project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was razed to the ground. She's a holog... I, I can't explain. I'm Walker. The last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger! Let's take these fuckers out! Then we'll talk! Say, they gunned down your people, I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. You're pretty damn skilled, stranger. Hear that? They're coming up the elevator. Get ready. Steady now. Once the door opens, they're walking into a fucking blender. Like fish in a barrel. Got the skill for the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. <laughs> You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. You wanna tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the Authority once and for all. Plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project. But as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small-time bandit outfit. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. 
Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor's seat for a while, but lately he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware, including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod, but we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service. Get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there, and you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office, and stick it on his computer. This is Clay Clayton's winner's luck. Forget it. You ain't got the juice to get past the rope. Let me in. I'm a ranger. I don't give a fuck. No one gets in here who isn't rich or famous. You're neither. Come on. There's gotta be a way. Sure. You can get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chaz Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as dumb as you, right? That all? Yep. You make yourself a champ, you can just waltz on in and meet the man himself. There's no other way. Not for you. You get past that Boundzilla at the door? There's a way in. I gotta go kill the shit out of some muties on TV and grind some metal in the racing circuit. Become a champ. Should be a breeze. Uh... Oh. Let's hope you've got what it takes. Those shows eat up folks like gobbling down peanuts. Chaz is, is better than Bash. Am I right? He has no mercy. Only Chaz. TV arena. Keep an eye on your TV screen, because it's time to crack some muty skulls. I know you can, and I know you will. But be careful. There. Those things are nastier than you think.
Mes amis, look here! What a dashing rogue the city has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger, have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game. Because you have a hunger in your eyes. Tell. (laughs) Do tell me. Is it a hunger for the promises of the... I present you with? Hmm? A thirst, perhaps, for the reddest. Oh, yes, of wines. <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur, the lust to kill. <laughs> you have it, the promise of grace. Allow us to sate your hunger for the kill, handsome. And sign here on the line. And now. Sweet young thing, your journey to stardom shall commence. Kill for Desdemonia! Your defense is 
the clock and shake the bottle. Walk! That was that. Woo! You weren't kidding. You really kicked the shit out of those muties. Good job. That kind of quality slaughtering can make you a star. Still gotta get behind the wheel at Chaz Car Derby, though. I know, it's a hassle. But hey, Wellspring thanks you for jumping through all these hoops. I'll skin off my back. As long as you come through on your end, Mayor. You won't regret this. Lucem, I'm at the racetrack. Jazz Car Derby it is. Keep your eyes on the screen. I'm gonna win this. Good luck, Walker. With those psychos you'll be racing, you're gonna need it. Well, god damn. Racing, baby! I can see you got the grit to be great. You got the meat it takes to take the plate. And you got all the trimmings, too. Got a contract right here, Prime Cut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sign that? Well, you sign in blood. <laughs> oh, you race your way to the top crust like a knife through sirloin, and you emerge victorious and take the gravy too. <laughs> When do I start? Scritch scratch? We got your John H and we good to go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you start at the bottom, fresh meat. Get the pity bucket. Prove your sizzle in that slow-mo ride. And then move on up. Simmer to the very top like the slickest grease in a gumbo. <laughs> Go grab your ride when ready, huh?
Mayor Lusum, I've got it. Free pass to the winner's lounge. I saw it all on the big screen. Yes, you really are the shit. That was some grade eight sportsmanship. What can I say? That's how I roll. I'm on my way there now. Got a dash. I'm here to see Clegg Clayton. Welcome inside, winner. up already. I got a great, nay, tremendous surprise for you all. Looky over there, dames and dudes. Here he is, the infamous wasteland tycoon Clegg Clayton. So ego-centered, he's been known to torture people just to get their approval. <laughs> I, the great Clegg Clayton, give you the one, the only... Killer Dilla Walker! Our latest ass kicking champion! Oh, my latest golden goose! You stick with me, and the sky's the limit. You want to make it big? You want to be a star? Well, old Uncle Cleggy Clayton's got your ticket to the top! I won't let you down. What's that? I want to make it big. There's no goddamn doubt. Everybody's got a purpose on this rock, and yours just happens to be being the goddamn best! <laughs> so, uh, what do you say we go somewhere a little more secluded? I may be about to offer you the dealio of a lifetime. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, I, myself, need no introduction. Now, you've already heard of how I took my father's legacy and turned it into an empire. Of course, everybody knows the story of irresistible Clegg Clayton, the orphan multi-billionaire extraordinaire. That's why you're here, of course. I know, everybody wants to see the digs of the wealthiest and most generous man of the land. Ah, here we are. Behold, Killadilla Walker! This is the innermost core of this high-powered city. This is the multi-watt nerve center of the Clegg Empire. My office, the cockpit from which I control my vast financial holdings. I am the richest man in town today, but soon, power absolute will be mine. Tremendous power. As soon as that old, decrepit, crone, loosome Hagar surrenders her mayoral office to me, things here will take a turn or two for the better. Oh, 
just as you wait. So, being rich not enough for you? You're cut out for something bigger, right? Now let me tell you about my father. My father, my father was a great man. He, everyone tells me he was a great man, but he built the base of Wellspring. He did, but my father, my father, he lacked the vision to merge power and economics. He was a mayor, but he didn't have any real money, see? I, I do not lack vision, people tell me, and I tell people that I will become the most powerful man in the wasteland. What? What could possibly be so imminent? Oh, right, right. Hold on a sec. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker, baby! I gotta take this. Please, make yourself at home. Pour some swill, have a song, shot eyeball. They're extra globby. Right? Talk to me. Oh, yes. I mean, no, I didn't mean... Listen here! Lucem, the gizmo is planted. I know. It's already transmitting data. Good job. Now get out of there. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker! One more thing. How is decrepit old Lucem these days? Oh, surprised? Yeah. As I just got wind, nothing escapes Clay Clayton. Yeah, it's true. My spies and agents are working 27-27 to keep me informed. I guess Clegg got the best of you. I guess you're just a loser after all. And as these are surely your final moments, I shall let you in on my big reveal. Yeah, I got it all thunk out, you see. You see, I've got the most powerful player in the wasteland in my corner! Who? The Authority, that's who. I'm on a first-name basis with General Cross. So when they take over, oh boy, oh boy, the sky's the limit! And all thanks to my extremely accomplished negotiation skills. Uh, I guess I'm just the best at everything I do, and you're just a stupid little loosome puppet. Well then, goodbye, loosome puppet. Goodbye! Read me?
You okay? Yeah, I'm right under Wellspring. Got dumped through the elevator shaft into some kill pit. But the real news is, Clegg is in bed with General Cross. And we can't dally. I'm sending in a strike team for Clegg. He's gonna talk, one way or the other. Over and out. On a tank. Predators. That's the ticket. The Project Dagger Predator tank. If we get that up and running, we'll be good to go. Imagine it was under our feet this whole time. Right up. Standing by. Shouldn't be long now. Standing by. Shouldn't be long now. Hook me up to their channel, so I know what's going on. Yeah. Hold on. Go, go, go! Regroup. Formation. Lock and load. Breach! Clayton, drop the weapon. We're taking uh. you down. this job myself. Where's he headed? Likely to hide under his master's skirts. Well, at least we found the predator. Dagger's looking real good. Head over to my office and we'll talk.
So I drove that scumbag out of town. Now we can focus on Project Dagger. Yeah, for now. But he's gonna stick his ugly dome up again if we don't deal with him permanently. There's gotta be something of value on the data you pulled from Clegg's computer. I'm on it. Decrypting the data as we speak. We got a team down in Cleggie's creepy dungeon retrieving the Predator tank and the other tech as well. Great. Let me know when you have the Predator up and running. Will do. Now, with Clegg out of the way and the tank secured, we could benefit from your help on some projects around here. And I have a feeling that you could too.